across southeastern parts of Britain, but things up to the northwest haven't quite gone to plan. But more of that in a moment. Let's concentrate on the heat. First of all, temperatures up to 28 degrees, 82 Fahrenheit this afternoon in the southeast. But that's all about to change because cooler, fresher air will be swept in during Friday by this cold front. But don't despair. By the end of the weekend, that very warm weather will be uh, making itself felt again across southern parts of the uh, country. Now, what of uh, that weather I was suggesting up to the northwest? Well, this band of cloud indicating the presence of a weather front, which caused us a little bit of embarrassment, bringing a bit more in the way of rain to Northern Ireland and Scotland. And that weather front is still quite active, as you can see here from the weather radar some rain moving away from Scarborough and another little dollop of it working its way up from the southwest approaches. So still the chance of a few outbreaks of rain. Some of it could be heavy on the western side of Wales, that's North Wales, Northern England, into southern parts of Scotland uh, through this evening. Plenty of sunshine to the southeast and a mixture of sunshine and showers up to the northwest. Overnight tonight, still a lot of cloud up through that central band, some mist and drizzle, but that front weakening all the while overnight tonight. Had a pretty muggy night in southeastern areas with temperatures holding up at 13 degrees. And you can see that cooler, fresher weather up there to the northwest indicated by the green colours on the temperature map. Tomorrow morning, there could still be a few spots of rain up through the Irish Sea, but generally the cloud breaking up. Some sunshine for the afternoon just about everywhere. The best of the sunshine probably once again in central and eastern parts of England. But later on in the afternoon and the evening, some uh, heavy showers developing over the Pennines and the Cumbrian Fells perhaps even the odd rumble of thunder. And that little area of thundry weather is likely to drift further northwards during the late afternoon and into the evening. If you're off to the cricket, well, do enjoy yourself, but it is going to feel hot and sticky. And don't forget to protect yourself from the rays because they'll be quite strong tomorrow. And certainly it's likely to be even warmer in southeastern areas at 29 degrees. On Friday, the weather system crossing the country will give showers in the north, some thunderstorms in the south, and then on Saturday, I think things settling down just about everywhere. Just a few showers scattered about. And that's the forecast.